although Australia has one of the world's driest environments, it has a thriving agriculture market. As a result, there are six jobs for every agricultural worker and the labor shortage has been regarded as unprecedented. Therefore, there are great chances for you to immigrate to Australia as a farmer. Hi, this is Max from the Visa Library. In this video, I want to explain how to immigrate to Australia as a farmer, the steps, their salaries, and other information. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, do it now and like the video because believe me, you don't want to miss out on our future videos. We publish three new videos every week, so be sure to subscribe. Let's go. What is the Australia Agriculture Visa? It is a new visa program to solve labor shortages by rewarding foreigners to work in Australia. Foreign farmers are encouraged to assist Australian farmers in agricultural and primary industry sectors such as fishery, wool, dairy, forestry, grains and horticulture as well as support services and primary processing. This visa is a subcategory of the temporary work visa. It commits to developing a skilled workforce to support Australia's agricultural industry expansion provides comprehensive worker protections, give workers the right to switch jobs without jeopardizing workforce standards or weakening worker protections. Who is eligible for an Australia agriculture visa? Not every foreigner can immigrate to Australia as a farmer. Currently, this visa is available for these countries. Other countries are yet to be verified. Now, what sectors are covered by the Australia Agriculture Visa? Approximately a hundred different sorts of farm occupations are available to agricultural tourists. Most jobs include selecting, packaging, and processing crops. You can work in these sectors. The agricultural visa program will target skilled, semi-skilled or low-skilled workers in specific industries. Recruiting will initially focus on lower skilled jobs, but this will be broadened as the program progresses. Employees must have the necessary experience and credentials to begin working. What are the eligibility conditions for employers under an Australian Agriculture Visa? Let's see. The Australia Agriculture Visa is a sponsored visa. Therefore, a sponsor is required for a foreigner to immigrate to Australia as a farmer. Employers must be authorized to participate in this program. In addition, they need the authorization to participate as a temporary activity sponsor under the Migration Regulation of 1994. All participating employers must fulfill a number of standards, including number one, obtaining approval by demonstrating that they are a current PALM scheme approved employer or having a fair work ombudsman compliance history check, financial solvency workplace compliance and being qualified under an endorsed industry accreditation scheme. Number two, executing a deed of agreement. Following acceptance, businesses will sign a deed of agreement with the Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade or DFAT outlining their duties as program employers including employee rights, conditions and standards. After getting a permission to participate and signing the deed of agreement, the employer must number one, 
supply DFAT with proof of labor market testing. Number two, present a recruitment plan as well as an accommodation and transportation plan. Number three, present workers with a job offer that includes information of the nature of the job wages and conditions and any probability agreements. Number four, coordinate recruiting efforts following program standards. Employers must offer employees visas and travel agreements. Provide DFAT approved housing choices and on arrival offer a briefing and ask the fair work embondsman and the relevant union supervisor to attend. What are the Australian agriculture visa requirements? Workers' applications to get the agricultural visa must be done abroad. To be eligible, applicants must satisfy some requirements. Number one, have the abilities required to operate in the job. Number two, have a minimum IELTS score of four overall or above is necessary or an equivalent. Number three, be alone because they can't bring family members. Number four, fulfill the Australian agriculture visa age limit of 21 years. Number five, have an Australian sponsor by a temporary activities sponsor who is a DFAT approved employer for the program. Number six, fulfill all of the character and the health standards. And number seven, have enough health insurance for the duration of their stay in Australia. Uh, number eight, have evidence of intent to work in agriculture for most of the stay in Australia. Number nine, proof of any agricultural or food processing expertise. Number 10, reside in their country of origin when applying. Applicants must also be DFAT endorsed and have an authorized sponsor. DFAT will evaluate the applications for the Pacific Labor Scheme and provide you with a PLS endorsement number which you need to submit your online application. Eligible employers can hire people for seasonal tasks lasting up to nine months or for longer term positions lasting one to three years in unskilled, low skilled and semi-skilled occupations. Here's a question, how to apply for an Australian agriculture visa? Number one, check if the agriculture visa is available. Step two, gather and organize your application documents. Number three, use an IMMI account to submit the application and the accompanying papers online. You can also send your application via email. What are the other visa options to immigrate to Australia as a farmer? Let's see. Number one, working holiday maker or WHMs that are valid for more than six months with the same employer. Number two, second or third WHM visa. If you have finished three to six months of a specific agricultural labor, you may be eligible for a second or third WHM visa. International students are permitted to work more than 40 hours every two weeks, if working in agriculture. Also, all temporary graduates are eligible to work in agriculture. Can you extend your visa and work in agriculture? Temporary visa holders who work in agriculture or have a job offer can file for the COVID-19 pandemic event visa, which permits them to remain and work in agriculture for up to 12 months. There is no visa application fee and you can file your COVID-19 pandemic event visa up to 90 days before the expiration of your existing visa. You will not be required to demonstrate your attempts to leave Australia. 
If you have a COVID-19 pandemic event visa that is due to expire, you may be qualified for another COVID-19 pandemic event visa to stay in Australia and work in a crucial area. Is there a limit for Australia agriculture visa employees? This program is limited to only 1,000 employees as of now due to its worry about people smuggling and the weakening of the Pacific Australia Labour Mobility Scheme. CAPS will be reviewed yearly. So don't worry. Can foreign farmers change employers? Yes. The program will provide transfer across various permitted workplaces for the seasonal cohort. Initially, it must be agreed upon before employees arrive in Australia. Employers benefit from probability because it allows them to hire people for short periods and help them handle seasonal job needs. Employees in the seasonal cohort will be permitted to change between eligible employers under a DFAT approved agreement throughout their stay. Visa holders in the long-term cohort may be required to wait for up to 40 years. Employees must consent to each condition in advance and sign a letter of offer stating the position, location, compensation and conditions. Can Australia agriculture visa holders apply for a permanent residency? The government has committed to developing options for permanent residency paths for workers including uh, regional settlements. However, they admit that this would require further consultation and design work. Here's another question. Does the Australia Agriculture Visa require domestic labor market testing? Yes. Before being eligible to hire agricultural visa workers, the employers must demonstrate that they have required Australian employees for the vacancies offered. Do employers need to provide a standard accommodation under the Australia Agriculture Visa? Employers are required to provide acceptable and inexpensive housing to employers during their first settling in phase in Australia. Employers must verify that the accommodation satisfies basic criteria and has been authorized by DFAT before giving employment. If an employee chooses a new job, the second company must locate acceptable housing choices that satisfy basic requirements and are authorized by DAFT. Another question, how much are the farmer's salaries in Australia? In Australia, the typical agricultural worker earns $61,688 per year or $27.69 per hour. Entry level salaries begin at $48,664 per year with the most experienced professionals earning up to $202,800 per year. How to find agricultural jobs in Australia? You can get help from these websites. Well, there you go. Now you have the necessary information you need to immigrate to Australia as a farmer. If you wish to know more about the visas you can get, go to our article and read about them in detail. Link is in the description. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. It will help YouTube's algorithm. You can also follow our social media accounts. Links are in the description. If you have any type of visit that you want to know about, write the name in the comment section and we will make a video for it. Thank you all for watching.